I used to tell my athletes to not step onto the wrestling mat unless they expected uh, at least they at least in their minds they knew they had a chance of victory, a shot at uh, a shot at winning. And um, in First Samuel, we're learning about David and the great story that most of us know is David and Goliath. Uh, stories that many of us don't know are just the. Uh, ugly, brutal battles that those were back in those days. Hundreds of men, thousands of men's, men lost uh, in, these, in these battles at that time. But this uh, giant of that time, Goliath, uh, stepped to the middle of the battlefield and he was calling out Saul. He was calling out the, the folks that he was battling against. And um, he was asking for someone to come and attack him, uh, take him on to, to stake the battle, if you will. Step, put your toe on the mat. Uh, step to the middle of the circle and fight, and all of the all of uh, David's men at the time. Uh, he was just a shepherd's boy, uh, but all of the men on his side just bowed their heads, looked down, didn't want to step forward, including their mighty warriors, and there were plenty of them. But David walked through the crowd and asked what was going on, and he said, "The giant Goliath is calling us out." And David stepped forward, and he stepped forward expecting victory. And he stepped forward expecting victory, not because of his great might. He was a shepherd's boy, but he stepped forth with great uh, confidence that he would win and that he had victory in mind and victory was his and he claimed it because he wasn't walking alone. He was walking with God. And as we face the challenges, we don't necessarily face life or death today, but we still face great challenges uh, in our life at work or at home or in our communities. And as we, as we do, we should remember the story of David and Goliath. And that you're not forced to walk alone, but the victory can be claimed, particularly when you walk uh, and you claim the victory in Christ's name. Walk with him today. Have a great one.